Hello IBC, my name is Tracy Martin and I have the privilege of bringing you the Devo this week. Um, this is something I want to share with you uh, really about an understanding of the armor of God and how we need to apply that armor of God every day of our lives. And so I just want to start kind of going back to help explain this perception is uh, I work in the medical field and there's a scene in a movie um, called Outbreak that I just uh, was living really large to me recently. And in that movie, uh, they're battling the disease of Ebola. And in trying to make sure that as they're figuring out what it is, you know, they're wearing these suits that are fully contained and hoods, helmets uh, with air supply going in so that they are uh, really as protected as possible. It is actually uh, the highest level of uh, what we call personal protective equipment uh, that you can have. And so they're utilizing that highest standard of armor against this virus that they don't understand really what it is yet. And even when they put it on, there's this process, this procedure. There are uh, cross checks uh, from another person to make sure that it is enclosed completely. Uh, to make sure that everything is operational, that, that your battery on your air hood is working correctly. Like there are all these steps to make sure that it's going to do what it's purposed to do. And then guess what? It still takes courage to step into the environment where you are out of that clean room putting things on into the space where you have that risk of infection, of that virus getting into you personally. And uh, so it takes courage. It also takes faith that you've done the cross checks. You've done the work to be able to put on that suit appropriately. And I hope you're already starting to hear how this applies to us with the armor of God. Um, you see, Ephesians chapter six talks about us putting on the whole armor of God. I'm just gonna read a short section of that. I encourage you to actually go to Ephesians six and read the whole chapter because you get a lot more understanding of what it is God wants us to put on and be prepared with. So this is Ephesians chapter six and verse 10. It says the whole armor of God, a final word, be strong with the Lord's mighty power. Put on all of God's armor so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies and tricks of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood, but against the evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, spiritual, okay? Against those mighty powers of darkness who rule this world and against wicked spirits in the heavenly realms. They go on to describe all of the pieces of armor we need to put on. You see, it's, it's not that different in my mind in this illustration of making sure you have the right boots on, the right pants and suit and uh, chest piece on and the right hood on. Everything is sealed up correctly, which means it's firm, right? You know that it's working and you've got to cross check somebody who's making sure it's all correct. You see, when we can put that same amount of energy into us being prepared spiritually with the armor of God, then we are going to be able to go out into our toxic world. You see, it still is toxic. I'm speaking spiritually right now, right? This is the realm of the enemy. The devil is a roaring lion seeking to kill, steal, and destroy each one of us. And that is something he will never let up on until that final day where he is cast into the bottomless pit himself. And I'm excited for that day, but come on, church, we have to make sure we are armored up. We have the full armor of God on so that when we step into that environment, that world, you see in my home, I pray over my home and there's peace in my home and the blood of Jesus over my home. This is my safe protection. This is my fortress and Jesus is with us in this place. Well, we need to carry him with us. We need to carry the word of God with us everywhere we go. So when I'm stepping out of my home into that environment outside of my protected space, I have that full armor. I am ready to battle anything that Satan tries to bring our way. And I want you to know that this is something you have to take courage with and it takes faith to know that you have what you need and God supplies our every need. And right now, there's a lot of people that are tired. There's a lot of people that are weary. 
this, the pandemic we've been in just continues to weigh on us and weigh on us and change after change happens and it's affecting us spiritually, it's affecting us emotionally, it's affecting us physically. And I just wanna encourage you, put on the full armor of God so that you are confident and you have the courage and the strength. God says he equips us with everything we need for today's work. So let's be armored up. Let's be ready to go and ask the Lord to lead us and guide us in what he's called us to do for that day, for today, and be ready to move mightily and fight spiritually against these evil spirits that are trying to take us out. We are armored up and we are ready to fight, not with flesh and blood, we are fighting spiritually. We are praying. We are speaking the word of God over every step we take or every battle that comes against us. We, we react to it with the word of God. So I just want to encourage you, church, get into this word, study it, get it in your heart so that you are prepared and you've done that cross check with one another. Encourage one another in it. And let's put on that full armor of God and be God's light and salt to this world. Amen.